Hello, I'm Archie Luxury and welcome to the program. What a view! I'm at the Sunshine Coast having a little bit of a mini holiday and I've uh, psst, I've taken a sickie. Shh! I've taken a sickie and I've started the holiday on a Friday. Hey, it's an Aussie tradition. You Americans wouldn't understand, but in Aust Australia, the sickie it's up there with the UK three-day week. So there you go. I've taken a sickie and I'm, I'm relaxing at the Sunshine Coast. What a cool thing to do. And i got to say, you know, one thing I've noticed is I've been noticing a lot in the media a lot. <coughs> I don't watch television. I haven't watched television in 10 years. But I notice in the print media and, and on news.com.au, they're talking about how when you turn 40... It's a big stress and many problems. And then I saw this BBC documentary, which was called 50 and Finished. <coughs> and I looked at some 50, year old, 50 plus year old people who were struggling to get back into the workforce after being retrenched. And uh, it's pretty amazing. I got to say, what the fuck is this infatuation with young workers? I mean, fuck, fuck. It's pretty mean. I've got to be honest with you. You know, I turned 40 and uh, I've got my beautiful annual calendar, which is a cool fucker of a watch. And uh, if ever I'm feeling a bit down, I just have a look at my, my Patek Philippe Calatrava. Sorry, my Patek annual calendar. The, annu the, the, the Calatrava is getting serviced at the moment. I've got the, still got the reverso on the other wrist to, to help with the depression too, so... But it's quite interesting. What's with this fucking fascinating with young fuckers? I mean, if you're having heart surgery, uh, 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 heart surgery, do you want some young fucker out of medical school who drives a three series cutting you open? <laughs> I want the 67 year old with the fucking Lexus or the S class Merc to cut me open. That's what I want. I want experience. And, uh, you know, whilst we're talking about getting the car service, I mean, who do you want fixing your car? Do you want the 17-year-old apprentice, first-year apprentice? Give me the 50-year-old seasoned mechanic who knows what the fuck he's doing any day of the week. And i got to be honest with you, whenever I've employed staff, I've always tried to employ more mature staff. I had my own IT business, and... Uh, I developed a session of uh, training. This was when Windows 95 came out. And uh, I put together a series of courses. And my partner helped me who run this, this uh, enterprise. He was about, oh, late 50s, early 60s, Tony. He was a great guy. And then, you know, when I, I recently, the job, this is the, the company I worked at with a prat of a boss, had a Breitling. He said to me, I had to employ a, uh, a junior, and I wanted a mature worker. I employed a, a uh, mid-50s guy, and uh, he wanted to, the, the mid-50s guy wanted to go into IT, and I, 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 I recommended him. And my boss, who was a mid-45, he was a prat. He wore a Breitling, for fuck's sake. He said, what do you want the old geezer for? And I said, well, he's, he's really good. He was a really good worker, and... I got my way with him, but, you know, what a fucking mean thing. Why is it that when you get a bit of age on the clock, it's not like a car. <laughs> it's not like a car. It's like a fine wine. They get better with age. They know what they're doing. I mean, would you want advice from 22-year-old Archie Luxury? No, you want the more mature Archie Luxury, the one who's been married three times, the one who's had half a dozen indiscretions that he got caught at. Hey, stop laughing at the jokes. <laughs> you want, you want the maturity. That's what you want. You don't want some young punk, young punk, who's going to give you advice. That's what went wrong with Kevin Rudd. Kevin Rudd had a string of fucking mid-twenties advisors. I mean, fuck, have you lived until you're, you're at least 40? And i got to be honest with you, you know, anyone who thinks I'm old and that there, you can get fucked. 
And uh, yeah, the company I was working at after I turned 40, I was on a 12 month contract. They said, oh, we're going to replace you with a cheaper junior. Well, fuck you. Keep your stupid fucking cheap junior. You're not getting my skills for low money. That's for sure. Fuck you. And uh, I got to say, I'm really pleased to be 40. <coughs> I'm a lot more mature than I used to be. And, uh, you know, I, I still can pull a wench or two. <laughs> I mean, fuck. Why is this world coming to? We want young, 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 young. I mean, fuck. Is youth. Youth is so... <sighs> I mean, I, I enjoyed being young too, but fuck, I, I think 40 is an age I really, really enjoy. And I mean, you can't really wear a gold, you can't really wear a gold watch until you're at least in your, your mid-30s. You just can't pull it off. Even white golds only, you've got to be at least 35 to pull off white gold. And, uh, hey, what have we got here? We've got a bird. We've got a... What's this bird doing on their beach there? Hello, how are you? We're doing a bit of filming for the Archie Luxury Program. You heard of it? So, you know, I, I think realistically, this, this fascination with youth and young fuckers, it's just crazy. It's just crazy. And, uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be 41 this year. Well, great. I love, I love being 40. It's great. And if employers, my boss... Thinks I'm too old? Well, fuck you. Fuck you. I don't really care. I'm happy who I am. I don't need... I, I, I just can't believe this fascination with youth. You know, if I was getting my, my fucking heart operated on, I don't want some rookie with a 3 Series. I want the fucking... I want the old fella with the, uh, the S-Class. That's what I want. That's who I want fucking putting the knife near me. And, uh, you know, if ever you get depressed, I'm allowed to wear a, a gold... A gold luxury watch. You can't pull that off at 19, can you? Hey? You can't pull that off at all. A yellow gold annual calendar at night. It just looks passe. So, you know, as far as I'm concerned there, I'm really pleased to be 40. And this fascination, this fascination with youth, it's fucked. And i got to say, you know, the, the interesting thing is, you know, I don't know how I'm going to handle being 50. This UK program I, I was watching, it was on the BBC, it was called, I, I saw it on YouTube because I don't watch TV. It was on YouTube, it was called 50 and Finished. And I thought, fuck, what a mean, nasty world. How can someone be finished at 50? When I'm 50, that's my prime, baby. <laughs> that's my prime. I might have eventually stopped paying maintenance on the first lot of kids. <laughs> I mean, fuck, 50. 50's not old. 50's a great age. I'm looking forward to it. And, uh, you know, these, these young whippersnapper fuckers, I mean, seriously, you know, I'll just, I'll just tone it down a bit. The wife's just over there. But, I mean, seriously, I don't want young birds. I don't want 20-year-old birds. If, I, if, I, if our relationship ended and I had to go out with a new bird, I'd want a bird, I want a bird who's, a wee bit older than me. Ten years older than me would be fine. They're, they're sexier. They've got nicer tits. They're confident in themselves. They're really quite cool. And uh, i got to say, young birds really. I mean, I've had many in Thailand. They're just dumb little wenches. But the more mature birds, they can be cool. And uh, i got to say... You know, this UK program, fuck, I'm looking forward to my 50s. And uh, i got to say, hopefully with the YouTube channel I've got here, I hope to be making videos full-time when I'm 50, so, so no young fucker can tell me I don't have a job. So that's what my aim is. I want to be self-sufficient in my YouTube channel. I want to be making $10,000 a month out of YouTube, Google Ads, getting some gifts, Friends like Brian, friends who send me beautiful things, that's what I want. And uh, as far as I'm concerned there, youth, youth, I've been and done that shit. It's time now, I'm looking forward to being 50. I'm Archie Luxury, and tell me what you think of becoming 50. See you later. Nice one, Archie.
You tell those young fuckers where to go.